Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa. Today we are doing a really fun video. We are in Barcelona right now, and I'm going to take you along with me for a paella cooking class. So I signed up for this class via Airbnb Experiences. This is not a sponsored video, but it's been a really fun way for us to check out like different cities. They have so many different options for tours and cooking classes and everything like that. So I found this one, it's in the neighborhood that we are staying in and they are even accommodating a vegetarian option. So we are gonna learn how to make paella from scratch and I can't wait to bring you guys along. If you don't already know about paella, I thought I would give you a little intro into what it is. Um, it is a traditional Spanish dish made from rice rice and it's made in a special pan and it's kind of like a risotto but it's cooked differently. There are a bunch of different options for flavorings. Um, there is the traditional one which is called the Valencian paella and that is from Valencia, Spain which is about maybe three hours south of Barcelona on the coast and that has meat in it so it's usually chicken, rabbit, and some vegetables. I can't remember the other thing. Maybe some sausage. They also do a ton of seafood paellas and of course there's also a vegetarian option which is basically just vegetables and usually a bean. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm really excited, like I said, to bring you guys along. And a fun fact is that I actually studied abroad in Spain 10 years ago. So I lived in a small city called Alicante. It's about an hour south of Valencia, so it's even farther down the coast from Barcelona. And it was my first introduction to paella, and it's something that I've always really loved. I love rice-based dishes in general, but paella has very unique flavors. It has saffron in it, and it's just just so so good so I'm really excited like I said I've said that a million times to bring you guys along um, and if you have any questions along the way let me know I will link this experience or the link to this like specific thing that we're doing down in the description box so whether you are planning to maybe visit Barcelona maybe you live in Barcelona um, if it's fun which I think it will be you uh, might want to sign up so I'll look that down below for you without further ado let's go make some paella so as it turns out, we are not actually cooking individual paellas, so I just kind of filmed over this whole process, and I'm going to talk you through what we are doing. So once we arrived at the cooking class, we got settled, and we started talking about paella. And one of the things that makes paella different from like a risotto is the pan that you use, and this is what the pan looks like. It's a large kind of shallow iron pan and it's on the lighter side so I will link those down below for you if you're interested in checking out what they look like. Then I'm going to walk you through the ingredients that we use. So paella is actually only spiced with two different spices. We have saffron threads as well as smoked paprika. And then for a few of the other like kind of unique things is that it uses grated tomatoes. So you just take a raw tomato and you grate it on a box grater and that's almost similar to like a tomato sauce consistency. And we're gonna use that to flavor the rice a little bit. The next step is that we're going to prepare the garlic. So we are using a fair amount of garlic in the paella and you're gonna just mince it up basically however you want. And then they also traditionally use green beans in the paella. So these are, I guess, broad green beans. I'm not actually sure what they're called, but you basically just cut them up with your fingers, just break them into pieces and add them into your bowl. You could also use other vegetables if you wanted. Just we were using green beans because they have them in season and that's what they use traditionally. The green beans. And here when we do a vegetarian paella, we do the artichoke. We take off these little hairs because they are more uncomfortable. <laughs> And then we chop. This one still will be really hard. Sorry, Anna, what it called? Artichoke. Artichoke? Artichoke. In Spanish, alcachofa. Alcachofa. Alcachofa is an Arabic word. Everything that is with al normally is Arabic. In origin. Fire? Mm -hmm. Fire? Fire? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> then we switch on. Yeah. This is 
especially for paella or? Yes. See, sí, this is for paella especially. As soon as because you have your paella, the rings, you have more rings. This is salt, oil, oil. So as you're starting to cook the paella, if you are making a meat or a seafood one, you're going to sear the meat and the seafood before you add in your vegetables. So you have the olive oil and the salt like we just saw her add in, and then you'll sear your shrimp or your chicken or whatever you're using first, remove those, and then start to cook your vegetables. So here is just the example of what the shrimp cooking looks like, but I'm gonna show you now the vegetable one because she made one especially for me. So the first step is to add your salt and your oil into your paella pan, let that heat up, then you add in your vegetables. So we had our red peppers, and then we're also gonna add in our artichokes, as well as the garlic and the green beans, and you're basically just going to saute that until it's starting to soften. From there, you can add the tomatoes as well as the smoked paprika. And again, just kind of cook this around until the tomato is evenly distributed throughout all the vegetables and they've cooked down a little bit. Next is your rice. So the rice that they use is a special rice called bomba rice, and I'll link it down in the description box for you. If you can't find that, you can also use arborio rice or risotto rice. They have a very kind of similar texture. What you can't use is traditional basmati rice or like a Japanese sticky rice. You really need something that's round shaped and isn't super sticky or starchy. Now that we have our rice measured out, we are gonna just add that directly into the skillet without the broth. And we're gonna kind of saute this for a minute or so to help get the rice a little bit of flavor and make sure that it's like evenly spread out in the pan. From there, you can add your broth. And what she recommends doing is to heat the vegetable broth on the stove before you add it into the paella and add your saffron into the broth so that it gets very flavorful and kind of infused in that broth. If you don't have that option, you can just pour the cold broth directly into the pan. It will take longer to cook, and then you can just sprinkle the saffron on top. So it's really up to you. Once you have the broth in there, you can just use your wooden spoon to kind of push all of the ingredients evenly across the pan, especially the rice. You wanna make sure that it's kind of evenly spread out and not clumped together so that it cooks as evenly as possible. And basically you're just gonna bring this to a boil and let it simmer uncovered for about 15 to 17, maybe 18 minutes. And at the end, the liquid should be absorbed. It might start to kind of stick to the bottom of the pan a little bit, which is actually delicious because it adds a nice kind of crusty layer. But the end result is going to look basically like a saffrony rice dish. The liquid, like I said, is absorbed. It's still like really hot. It has all the vegetables in there and you're ready to serve right from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, I will definitely recreate this on the blog because it's so easy. I just need to buy one of those pans when I get home. And I've also included the tour information as well as the recipe information down below. All right, so we're just walking home now from the paella class. It was so fun. It wasn't quite what I was expecting in terms of like filming wise. So I think what you'll have watched already is me just talking over the steps. And I will be sure to recreate this type of recipe on the channel when I get home to the States. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions for me or you want me to like clarify anything, I'll write all of the description or all of the ingredients and steps down in the description box for you. But I hope you found it enjoyable to watch and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.